completely empty up here and terrifying. But we did have one idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. And I... Wait. Did... Did the energy... Did, wait. Did the internet just explode? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. So apparently this is the big buzz around town right now. And even I'm kind of like, yeah, you know what? I better talk about this on the channel. I, I don't usually like to cover a lot of the Marvel and DC stuff just because I think bigger and better things are happening with like Eric July's Ripperverse or Shadowversity's Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel coming out or like Clownfish, what Clownfish TV is doing. I've even covered some John Della Rose stuff, but everybody is talking about the announcement, the official announcement that they just made that. Hugh Jackman will be returning as Wolverine. Now, honestly, Hugh Jackman, he played that role for 18 years, and he's about to get another year out of it. So 19 years that he will, uh, once this movie is released, have played Wolverine. That is some insane news. Now, I think a lot of people would hold you know, certain actors up there in like who they think is the best version of the character obviously i think rdj goes up there and everybody just thinks that that is iron man and although the character was very much changed from the comic books most people look at hugh jackman and they go yeah that's wolverine because he just he owned the character he played it and to end to, to end that character arc off with Logan was a fantastic idea. I think it was a great way to show the humanity and the overall character arc of, of Wolverine, of Logan. Um, the questions out of this, uh, why 2024? Why 2024? I have my speculation on that. So I think Deadpool 3 in 2024 is to potentially get us removed from current Disney storytelling, right? That is 100% speculation. Disney storytelling with the MCU has not been where it needs to be after Endgame. After Endgame, obviously, uh, it started going downhill. We all knew it was going to. And then, obviously, we had a two-year pause on a lot of stuff because of you know the, the season of the lockdowns. And they just kind of have to get, work through all that. But we're seeing movies come out now that don't have a lot of that narrative in there. And I'm wondering if pushing this thing out by two years is going to allow them enough time to actually tell a story that they don't have to worry about the current political narratives in movies. That's my speculation there. My other questions that I have is, how is Disney going to handle Deadpool? Will it be rated R? Will it be PG-13? I don't know, and I will be honest with you, even if it is a PG-13 movie, I don't know if I can. I know a lot of people, you know, the Merc with a mouth. Um, but I think that they could pull it off in a PG-13 movie, especially in a PG-13 movie, if, you know, Hugh Jackman's character gets away with the only fuck in the movie and Ryan Reynolds just has to be like, no, no, that was my word. No, no, I wanted to use that word. They're good. I, I can't. I, I'm, I'm PG-13 right now. And just just Wolverine looking at him like, dude, I can't. I can't with you right now. Something like that could be very, very fun, especially if they're going to play on some things like that. Because Deadpool's always been meta. Uh, what was my initial reaction to the trailer when it was sent to me, which was sent to me by uh, Convoy Bebop, who is the master mod of the channel. He is the moderator on YouTube. He is the moderator in my Gilded, which, by the way, links are in the description below for Gilded Odyssey and Rumble. So if you guys want to not just like hang out here on YouTube and you would rather see us on other platforms, we are on other platforms. I'm doing my best to make sure that all of that happens. But I think that Ryan Reynolds, to me, will always, always be Van Wilder. Like, I'm sorry. I just, that's how I was introduced to Ryan Reynolds. And he's always been Ryan Reynolds. And so 
it's I don't know. I just I see Ryan Reynolds now and I still think Van Wilder. Like, and if you guys know Van Wilder, just did in the chat below, like early 2000s, you know, young people movie along the lines of like American Pie and uh, what was it? Not Another Teen Movie was another one. And then it just a plethora of other teen movies that were coming out around the same time. Um, might have been, was it late 90s or was it early 2000s? I don't remember. It's been a long time. I probably saw Van Wilder before I shot. Mm, stupid flies. So recording in 1080 60, it shows flies in my house and I hate it. Um, but yeah, so I think that they just blew up the internet. I think that this announcement with Hugh Jackman coming back and announcing that he's going to reprise his role, which people have been wanting. Not only that, but this is also going to be huge for the MCU if they get their storytelling correct. That Wolverine, the Wolverine, the Logan is coming back. The man, the myth, the fucking legend, Hugh Jackman. That could be, with good storytelling, one of the most insane things to happen. It would usher in the time of the mutants. It would really tie uh, a lot of different of the Fox properties in, and they can finally start actually going forward with you know, some of these properties that they didn't own when the MCU took off. This is something that when I saw it, I was like, I don't know. Ryan Reynolds is like, Ryan Reynolds is so meta now that like, Ryan Reynolds is just being meta Ryan Reynolds on the internet. Like I, I, Ryan Reynolds just, is, he's just Ryan Reynolds in every movie. Like if you ever seen it, that's all he is. Ryan Reynolds is just Ryan Reynolds in every movie that he plays. He's I, you can't convince me. Otherwise, maybe there's a serious movie out there that he played in that. I wasn't aware of. Um, I would like to actually, I know he's done some action flicks and I haven't actually checked any of those out. So if you guys know, let me know like if he's any different in those movies and how he plays those characters. But I've always known Ryan Reynolds as a rom-com guy. Like I saw him in Van Wilder. Waiting, waiting was still a rom-com. Waiting was for anybody who's ever worked in the service industry and had to work at a restaurant. Waiting. <laughs> oh, oh, that was hella true back in the day. That was hella hella true back in the day you know so uh just uh, just make sure you are uh, always kind at restaurants you always tip well and uh don't piss off the people who handle your food and uh, go watch waiting if you haven't seen that for the viewers who are old enough to watch waiting go watch waiting because that movie is still comedy gold it's it's really good but how do you think that Deadpool 3 is going to turn out? Does Hugh Jackman draw you in? Does Hugh Jackman make you want to see this? Is it like when they brought Toby into, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home? Are you like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I might have to see this. Do you think that, the, that, that doing it two years from now is because they want to get away from this modern storytelling that they're going to do? Do you think that Disney is going to sack up and actually do a rated R Deadpool 3 with Logan and just the, the violence and Deadpool and the mouth? Like, do you think that they would allow that to happen? Or do you think it's going to be a PG-13 movie? What? do you guys think that this movie is going to do? And let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like what we're doing here on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Oh, and just wait until I do my Ripaverse unboxing because hopefully I get my Ripaverse some number ones this week. That would be wonderful if I do. And when I get those books, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing right here on the channel going over it i'll cover it a lot better than i did the clownfish tv um shadow binders unboxing and then after that i think i'm actually going to do a live stream with some subscribers of the channel who have actually read the isom number one already so hopefully i get mine before friday if not i'm gonna have to push things back but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because i love reading your comments i love responding to you guys and i just I enjoy the hell out of this. So thank you all so much for checking out a drink with crazy. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Nordic Jam by uh, Two Pitchers Brewing. That's what we're drinking tonight. So, yeah, that should have been in the front part of the video. But eh, you know what? It's not bad to hit it from the back once in a while. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching a drink with crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.